DTU Wind Energy divides the department's activities into fundamental research, wind turbine technology and wind turbine systems. We're an active initiator in all parts of the value chain of offshore wind energy. Our work includes research, development, demonstrations and commercialization. Uh, we have developed over the last 30 some years together with the industry. And today we have developed our research and test facilities to cover all scales uh, of the technology, from full-scale testing, at the scale test field, to component testing, testing blades and, and drive trains, all the way to the micro-scale using microscopes and X-ray tomography. DTU Wind Energy are partners in more than 30 EU projects and coordinator for more than a third of them. We're presently contributing to EAWE, TP Wind and EERA. Our department, DTO Wind Energy, um, is heading several large European uh, wind research uh, projects, uh, to mention a few in wind uh, area detox and uh, the integrated research program, IRP Wind, uh, that aims to uh, coordinate uh, European wind research, but other, among other things, uh, are, are researching uh, the development of future large offshore wind farms for Europe. DTU Wind Energy has a long history of cooperation with the industry. This has given us a unique understanding of the industry's needs. So for your next project, we hope you'll consider DTU Wind Energy as your preferred project partner. The wind scanner project is about measuring the wind in connection with big wind turbines. We have developed a new measurement technology based on laser. We put a beam into the air and there are some small uh, particles that move through the air that acts as small mirrors. And the mirrors, they scatter the light back to the detector. And then we can see the change in the color of the light. And that's a measure for how fast the wind is moving. So for instance, we can scan around a big turbine we can scan the wind field in front of the rotor, we can scan the wind field in the wake of the rotor, so we can measure the entire wind field, the mean wind, and also the turbulence at the same time. When we deploy the wind scanners, we usually take three of them at a time, and we install them on the ground, and then we start to scan the wind fields. We can measure uh, wind and turbulence on turbines, and also on bridges, and also on wind breaks and any, any other things. We have developed and uh, manufactured all the scanners in this project and uh, all the manufacturing plants are now available for the partners in the project. We are inside the wind scanner van which is used as a mobile office but also as a control room for the short range wind scanners right now. We have an application to extend the infrastructure with two things. A main central hub from where we can collaborate and disseminate the technology to partners and also we can maintain the instrumentation and the technology and the data processing and the user interfaces. Here at DGU we are very proud to, to lead the efforts in uh, continuing the work in the European Consortium for establishing this uh, distributed research infrastructure including having a hub located here in Denmark. In Europe we have many different wind climates. We have cold climates, we have hot climates, we have complex terrain, we have onshore, offshore. So when we work together in the different regions, we can make more excellent science and more excellent experiments. We see interest from industry, from aviation, from uh, road administration on the bridge structures. But primarily we want to look at a more efficient wind farm management. The wind scanner will give us the possibility of doing something that we could not do in the past. It's a tool for the future and our job is to think about the future. That's what research is. What is particularly new about this technology is that uh, we are now able to uh, measure not only at a single point, but at a moving point in time and space. It opens up a whole new era of, of wind measurements uh, beyond current technology. We will build and disseminate these technologies to our partners within the next couple of years. So it's not only a Danish project, but it's a common European wind scanner infrastructure. <laughs> D2 
DTU Wind Energy offers both university education and hands-on training courses for industry. A large part of our research is implemented in software. We think it's important for users to understand some of the science involved. Senior researcher Mareta Badger comments. If you participate in one of our training courses, you get to interact directly with the researchers. We always do our best to uh, tailor our courses to the needs of uh, the participants. We've been offering courses for more than 20 years. For example, WASP, PC software for bankable wind resource assessment and siting of wind turbines and wind farms. More than 4,000 users in over 100 countries use WASP for all steps, from analysis of wind and terrain effects to estimation of wind farm production. Having completed the course, you can become a certified WASP user. We now offer WASP and other courses online. Senior researcher Mareta Badger comments. E-learning is a flexible way to learn, so you can study anytime and anywhere you like for your convenience. Our courses are very interactive, so you get to discuss the challenges you meet with our researchers and also with the fellow course participants. We also offer aeroelastic design and remote sensing courses. See more at our website. My name is Ariane Frère. I'm a research engineer in a research centre called Senairo in Belgium. My research centre is mainly uh, dealing with uh, aircraft engines and my project is about getting this technology in the wind sector and I think DTU was the best um, in terms of wind expertise. I am uh, Teresa Lofeodo. My field of work expertise is uh, wind flow uh, development in coastal areas using uh, different uh, remote sensing techniques. I think the mobility program is really a chance to get to know other people, to discuss about different research topics and then with that to open your mind. It's always good to have somebody else looking at your work with fresh eyes. I've been in a men environment since I started the engineering school, that was 13 years ago. I haven't got any problem with it. I'm uh, certainly uh, improving my English and uh, then I'm meeting uh, in person with many names of the authors of my papers. I have a nine months old baby, then uh, for me it was just impossible to imagine traveling without my baby and the IRP Wind Mobility Program helped me in having this flexibility to have my husband and my child with me here. I choose uh, four weeks, there is uh, a perfect time for me to write the final of the papers in collaboration with DTU. As a mother with a seven years old son, I was worried uh, to leave him for a long period. But uh, with the support of my family, of my husband, we talk every day. This mobility program really helped me in uh, getting into contact with many people. I am confident that this mobility program uh, I will uh, reinforce the collaboration with my institute and the two. It also I hope will help me in building longer term collaboration for my research centre and the other research centre at university in Belgium. Mm -hmm.